what is up guys and welcome back to the channel and of course you've seen by the title if you work a full-time job and want to do instacart part-time uh, it's very possible but i will also recommend possibly doing it when you have the energy and really having a goal and a plan set in place because sometimes like we want to do things and it just it just drains us and like when i first started instacart i was very motivated i was going out doing it every day and well not every day i did it five days the first week but i was so motivated then that second week i was just tired could work got the best of me different things like that so what i'm going to show you guys is really you got to have a plan in place and really have a goal on how much you want to make part-time because even doing this doing instacart part-time like it can eventually become it can eventually become a full-time job so and this is if this is something that you want to do and interested i'm gonna have right like a little spread or just a little uh, picture to show y'all just like some numbers and stuff like that like the goal that you had set of how much you need to make daily or weekly to eventually how much you can make monthly to yearly and i'm gonna have that set up for y'all because like for me, when I first started, I told my wife, I'm like, hey, I can do this. I said, if I make $300 a week and a fork, I said, that's $1,200 a month, which is not bad, especially if you don't have too many responsibilities. Like me, I have a house, I have a wife, I have kids, I have a car that I pay for and stuff. So for me doing that $300 uh, a month, or yeah, $300 a week on top of doing it, making that $1,200 a month, it's not bad when you think of extra money and I'm doing it part time or doing it just when I when I want to do it type thing. But if you seek it full time and you maybe maybe you want to, you know, shoot a little higher because I know there's some people that can make twelve hundred in a day or twelve hundred in a week. So but I'm going to have these numbers for y'all. And this is what you need to do in order to have certain numbers set for you and different things like that and i'm going to explain more especially once i right now i'm on the road but i'm going to explain more what you need to do these numbers that you need to have especially for part-time and i'm going to do another video sorry it's shaking you know y'all see me driving but i'm also going to do something part-time so you can see or full-time so you can see the numbers if y'all want to do this full-time like i said no responsibilities maybe just paying for your car maybe some rent and you can knock it out real easy but 1200 a month part-time definitely not bad definitely not bad and it's just when you want to do it not even not even uh a lot of hours that you have to do in order to make that 1200 or that 300 in a week but uh yeah I'm getting on my way home right now guys and i'm gonna give y'all this little picture this is so y'all can see the estimates of doing it part-time for yourself here we are guys got our instacart here are some part-time goals and i'm just going to break these down for you. this is something i just came up i just put this on this presentation this powerpoint and stuff to give y'all an example what you need to do make instacart a part-time job for you you know and i've got some full-time goals as well just for you to see i mean even if that's if that's not enough for you full-time of course y'all can just see what you can do and put it together so for the first example we got we want to make 50 dollars a day right to equal out 150 dollars a week so our goal is just 150 dollars that week and we're looking to make 50 dollars that day so how many times should you be Instacarting that day? Three times, go out there three times, make your $50, that's gonna get you your $150 that week. And per day, I did, these are my estimates, so it depends on where you are, of course, but sometimes, it, it, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it might take me four to five to make $100, depending on which batches I take. But for just for this example, it might take you three to five. Then of course, as we doing that three to five, we know that 150, how we, we're gonna make $600 if we do that in, a, uh, if we make 150 a week, you know, that's four, 
there's four uh, weeks in a month so that gives us that six hundred dollars a month so here we go down here to break it down we got that fifty dollars a day times the three times we do it that week which gives us that hundred fifty dollars and here we got the hundred fifty dollars times the four weeks that are in a month to give us that six hundred dollars okay so and lastly we got that six hundred dollars a month times it's 12 months in a year which equals out to $7,200. So if you're looking to make that part-time, that's actually not a bad estimate thinking, uh, just suggesting that you're doing Instacart part-time. And the days that you could, you can do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like, it don't even have to, you just doing three to five, maybe you just got off of work and like, you know what, let me make my $50 real quick. Let me make my $50. Boom, like for me, I just go out every day I get off of work, just do three or four batches, make like 50 to 60 bucks. Sometimes I make even more. I know on the weekends I make even more because I have more time to do it. Then we got our second example. We still want that $50 a day, but this time we're looking at $300 a week. So when should you, how many times should you Instacart that day or that week? Six right because we at 50 we need six times so how many batches per day and of course i'm going to break those numbers down then three to six batches per day depending on where you are depending on which batches you want to take three to six a day uh then that's going to give us that 1200 dollars a month which is not bad so we got the 50 dollars a day times the six weeks or the six uh times out of the week that gives us that $300 that week, right? Then we got that $300 that week times the four uh, the four weeks out of that month, which gives us $1,200. So that $300 times the four times, uh, 300 a week times there's four weeks in a month gives us that $1,200. Then $1,200 times the 12 months out of the year is $14,400 which is not bad considering that you may already have a full-time job and you're just doing this on the side. You just added almost $15,000 to your salary, to your salary. And this is something you're just doing on the side part-time, maybe easy to you, may not be easy for you. But I know for me, that doesn't sound bad at all. Not too bad at all. And like I said, it's up to you and the batches that you choose and really you can where you are you probably can make that 300 in a day and make that 1200 in a week so that's just according to you and what you do but in some days that you can instacart of course like i said you're gonna have to be out there six times out of the week but if you look at it you got your monday through saturday maybe you want to do sunday through friday you just gotta fit it onto your schedule. It just gotta fit your schedule and the day that you're off or the day that you decide to do it after work or before work, whichever one works for you. So next we have our full-time goals. So for instance, example, we wanna make $100 a day and average $300 a week, right? So you should escort that uh, that week three times. That might cost, you might have to do five to eight batches per day. It just depends. Somebody might, offer, somebody, you might have a $100 batch that first day. Like it, that would be perfect, right? It might take five, it might take three. You never know, it might take one, you never know. And it will give us that $1,200 a month, which I'm gonna break down. So we got our $100 a day times the three times that we're doing it that week, which giving us our goal of $300 a week. Then we got the $300 times the four weeks that are in a month, which equal out to $1,200 a month. 1,200 times the 12 months that are in the year, we at that 14,400 mark. So. As I stated, that is not bad considering that we're working a little less than the $50 a day. So you look and you're like, wait, that, that's coming out to the same. That's because now we're working a little less. We're working three days lesser. And down here today, you can Instacart. You got your Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. 
uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe you just want to do it on a weekend, you can still make that doing less if you just aim and have a daily goal of a little $50 more. So if you know you got $50 in two batches, maybe you'll get $50 in another two or another three. And boom, you can work less if you know you're gonna average that. And like I said, there was two times I hit 90, about 90 to $95 in just three or four batches, which lets me know that one more batch would have got me at 100. So four to five really can get you at 100 per day, just depending on, just depend. Then our next example, we want $100 a day still, $500 a week. You should Instacart, of course, five times, right? So 100 times five gives you 500, right? So, and we should get $2,000 a month. That is not bad, and I'm gonna add this. This is just depending on on your responsibilities, your bills and different things that you have. Maybe that's enough, maybe that's not. Maybe you can do a little bit more. But I'm not telling you, I'm just showing you the examples of how I calculated this so you can get an idea, but you gotta match this up to like your own situation. Like I'm doing this, I'm matching it up to my own situation. That's why I reckon like what I'm doing right now is part time. But for somebody else that may be considering this full time, match it to your situation. Like. Don't just say, well, uh, D'Artanen said, I can do this, blah, blah, blah. You got to match it to your situation. Don't go quit your job because you're like, oh, I can make this amount. Because you still <laughs> just mat allow to match your situation, okay? So here we got the $100 a day times the five times that we're doing it that week, which gives us our $500 weekly goal. Then we got the $500 times the four weeks that are in a month. We equal out to $2,000. Then the $2,000 a month times the 12 months out of the year, $24,000, 24. And mind you, this is not including tax and stuff. Like I, since this has been my first couple of weeks of doing Instacart, I don't know how the tax bracket and different things work like that. So that's something that I'm gonna have to learn and see when that time comes. So mind you, this stuff is before tax. So maybe you need that, if you got 100, you need that 100 now and stuff like that, but just taking consideration that nowadays they are taxing people. They're taxing people a whole lot and stuff like that. Then I got the days you can Instacart, of course, your typical uh, Monday through Friday, working the weekdays. Uh, then you got Wednesday to Sunday. Maybe you want to take Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday off. Then you got Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Maybe you just want to hit it Monday, Wednesday, and just take care of it for that weekend. So guys it is possible to do it part-time it's possible to do it full-time but then again it's according to your work ethic are you going to put in the work are you going to go out there every day and discipline yourself to do this is this going to push you and drive you to go out there and make money for yourself make money for your family whatever your situation may be is this going to push you to do that because when we go to work and we know uh the set timings we have we know the responsibilities and stuff we have that's what pushes up. We know we gotta be there because we don't want to lose that. With this, this is on your own. This is according to your own time. This is your own discipline. So if you don't feel like getting groceries that day and you know you need the money, are you still gonna go out and do it? So ask yourself this. And another thing, guys, six figures is only two hundred seventy-four dollars a day. So out of three hundred sixty-five days of the year. And you know, sometimes we have leap years and stuff, but 265 days times 274 is gonna give you six figures, $100,000. So you gotta break it down into small goals. As I just did showing you today, how much we need a day, how much we need a week, how much it will equal out to a month, how much that will equal out into a year. So you gotta break this stuff down and it will make it easier and possible for you because if you just looking at the larger amount, then you're gonna stress yourself out thinking, oh my God, I need this much, blah, blah, blah. But really, break it down how much you need a day, break it down how many times you have to do it that week, break it down how many day, how many times you have to do it that day, and then you will see what you need to do. And I probably left out some when it comes to, uh, you need to do it, what, three to five batches a day, uh, weekly, of course, uh, if you do three to five batches, uh, three times three, nine that week, uh, five times three, 15. So nine to 15 for that week. 
if you want to make fifty dollars a day uh same over here you got three times six is 18 six times six is 30 something i don't know uh little fast math for you but that just gives you an idea five times three you got the 15 eight times three 24 so you you have to see all right if i need five or six a day and i'm doing it three times all right that means i just need to do 15 batches a week five times five 25 times uh five times 10 50 all right i know i need to do 25 to 50 batches this week to get my weekly goal of 500 dollars so take that in consideration also and then lastly i found this i've been i was looking for this because i hear it all the time and i've seen it before as i mentioned six figures is only the 274 dollars a day and this is something and it don't got to be instacart it could be like your own little thing that you may be doing sell a uh, five dollar service 55 times sell a ten dollar product 28 times sell a twenty dollar book 14 times sell a hundred dollar service three times sell a three hundred dollar product once a day a day and i only did measurements for 150 dollars a day just imagine if you hit 300 dollars a day that would be perfect for you and with instacart you possibly can but i wanted to show y'all the minor before you get to the majors because maybe you try to shoot for 300 a day and it just wasn't that weak so shoot for 50 then once you hit that 50 consistently shoot for 100 then once you hit that 100 consistently just keep adding 50 150 a day then go to 200 a day then go to uh, 250 a day then go to 300 a day. like add those small goals and celebrate you got to celebrate those small wins because when you got it consistently that let you know all right i done been getting 100 100 uh 50 dollars a day for the past two or three weeks or for this month all right that lets me know that i'm kind of considered then the next month go up then the next month go up go up by the month see what you get get your monthly goals by what you set uh, in a small amount per day then just keep raising the bar for yourself the six figure isn't as big as you think it is break it down like i said into smaller goals once you hit six realize seven isn't far away so guys it's here for us it's very very possible to do it's very possible to do like i said depending on where you're at instacart is a good side hustle that you could do part-time full-time but it's up to your grind are you gonna go out there and grind you gotta do this and like i always say i'm in the process to show you guys the process so hey this, this should have motivated you because it definitely motivated me to like just set small goals and allow those small goals to you know add up to those larger goals that you have those bigger goals to, that you have like we need to set aside those goals and really put together a strategy of what we need to achieve those things so start small then work your way up but guys that's all i have for this video make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up continue continue if you're new hit that subscribe button and man hey it's possible it is possible for you but that's all i have guys y'all be blessed be the best and be you i'm out